What's up everybody? It has been way too long. Uh, in addition to all the busy, busy, busy stuff I've been doing, I upgraded to Natty Narwhal. And as you can see, I went the Kubuntu route because it lacks me some KDE. I don't like me some Unity. And I've got the obligatory hot anime babe and I am ready to roll. I've really missed making videos and doing tutorials and just being creative with my camcorders. So let's jump in with both feet and get going. The number one question I have been getting is how do I get X video converted to something that will work great in Cinelera? Well, the answer is going to be a lot easier than you think. FFmpeg. Oh no, it's command line! Don't worry about it. It's not command line. There is something you can get from the repositories called WinFF. You just sudo apt-get install WinFF or use your software manager program of your choice. Let's launch this thing and you can do this as individual files you can do it as multiple files because all that requires you to do is drag drop and hit convert so what we're gonna wanna do here and sorry I can't zoom in because uh, there's a few little quirks with Natty I haven't quite worked out we're gonna wanna convert to DV digital video because that is Cinelera's native form right now we're gonna want raw DV for NTSC full screen because I'm stateside and NTSC is what we do but there are also settings for PAL and you want to choose where the file is going to get dumped and let's put this in my videos directory and we're good to go bring up dolphin go over here to my Cinelera directory and let's just pick three at random let's go like batman bg port and the canada blow up no offense to my friends in Canada, this was something I did for somebody else. It's really hush-hush, I can't talk about it. We're going to drag it, we're going to drop it. These are now ready to convert. Now all we have to do, instead of tinkering around a command line, is hit the convert button. And we're flying. It's going to pop up and show you what is going on in the background. And we will just give this a couple of minutes to finish. And when it's done, it'll tell you to press enter to continue. All that gobbledygook will go away. If we go over here to my home directory where I told it to put these in the videos directory, here we are in DV form. Now, if anybody has problems with the DVs, which occasionally I do, MPEG works pretty good too. So what we want to do is go over here and change it from DV to convert to DVD, because that's MPEG format and then stick with the HQ for high quality you want to do NTSC DVD full screen or widescreen full screen is of course 4 to 3 widescreen is of course 16 by 9 which is probably going to be the one you're going to stick with also you can do your own custom presets if you do an HD video by simply clicking on options and choosing your video size and aspect ratio and that is pretty much all there is to that how refreshing so I want to give a couple of shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Incompetech.com for incomparable free open source music. If you're not using this guy, you need to use him and uh, show him some love via donation. He does a lot of good stuff for people on YouTube. Also, if you have not already done so, go subscribe to Cybrid Productions. She is my idol. She's just fantastic. You're going to really know how to make Sinlera cook. That's the channel to subscribe to. Also another announcement, this channel started off as just a place to showcase videos of my family for friends abroad and family abroad and I got into this Linux video stuff and it really took off from there and that's what people have been subscribing for and that's what I've enjoyed doing. So what I'm going to do is start a new channel to uh, post videos of the family and funny videos like my migraine video and all of it's going to be showcasing stuff that you can do in Cinelera uh, with open source video editing so go ahead and subscribe there especially if you like cute kid stuff dogs and funny videos so I look forward to seeing you there in the meantime happy rendering